All right, so let's uh, look at the results of the thrust test for the Brother Javi R5 uh, 2306 2450 kV. This motor, as you saw in the video, came in at uh, 2500 uh, kV actually. So slightly higher, uh, that's pretty typical. Most motors will be either lower or higher, or sometimes the exact same kV, but almost never the exact same kV. So that, that's pretty typical, nothing to worry there. Uh, extra 50 kV is not bad. Uh, so as you saw it uh, tested it on 3S, 4S and 5S. Uh, the usual props, the Genfan 5045BN. Uh, this prop uh, I've been told a lot of people still use it. Uh, they use it a lot in apparently in races so I had a couple of people ask me uh, to keep it. So I, I'll keep testing it. Uh, so 1324, it clears 1300 grams pretty easily at uh, very manageable amps, uh, 34.6, so that's, that's pretty good. Uh, remember that these are max numbers, so um, momentary max, so uh, and also static, that's why the amps uh, look pretty high, but you know, don't, don't let that scare you, these are just momentary max on a static uh, thrust. So basically in the air, uh, usually about 30 to 35 percent lower on the amps uh, when you fly. Uh, you'll see only uh, about a third less than that. So, so around 24, 20 amps for that. Uh, just multiply this 35 times uh, times 0.7 for a conservative figure or times 0.65 and you'll get your max amps and those are still gonna be burst so those are not sustained so so keep in mind a lot of uh, most ESCs will have a, a higher burst rating than what they're rated at you know so for instance a 20 amp ESC may have 25 or sometimes 30 the really good ones have about 30 amp uh, burst uh, for about 10 seconds so that's why uh, that's why you can use these motors with uh, 20 amp uh, ESCs because uh, in reality the ESC is only gonna see over 20 amps for a short time so so it's well within its burst rating so the next prop uh, was the uh, 5050 by 2 the cyclone I ordered it, I wanted to see how this prop does uh, and just compare it to the 5045, this, the good old gen fan. And as you can see, it's uh, slightly more thrust, uh, but at a very high cost of amps. It, it's quite a lot more amps for very little thrust. This is on static, so right here it, it doesn't look that good, but in the air, the high pitch might come into its own it might be an advantage over 5045 uh, at high rpms the the higher pitch it's able to grab more air so so it may outperform this one in the air so that's something that has to be tried in, in the air you know uh, right here we can see the 5045 is it's holding its own so uh, the next ones are the f HQ 5040 by 3 and 5043 by uh, by three, uh, pretty similar performance on these two props as far as uh, thrust and amps. So as you can see, they're pretty pretty similar. So most people are using this 5043 by three right now uh, because it's it's a little bit more durable and basically you're getting the same performance as the 5040 by three. So eventually, I will probably drop the 5040 by three and just keep this one and maybe uh, start using some other prop, uh, one of the newer props that are coming out. Uh, because these two are pretty much identical, basically, as you can see from the uh, from the thrust figures and the amp, uh, they're pretty much identical. So these three props actually are pretty much the same as far as amps and thrust are concerned. Uh, of course, uh, once you're flying them, the, they may have different uh, flight characteristics. So, so I've flown the 5045 by three. And uh, it feels pretty good, a uh, little bit more punch than the 5040 by 3 so which is, this is my favorite prop uh, still to fly. So then we move on to the 6 inch props and here we can see the motor uh, still making some thrust and uh, of course the uh, amps uh, increase accordingly. Uh, uh, pretty, 
pretty manageable still I think uh, on 6 inch uh, uh, 50 you know 50 amps uh, would be about uh, about 35 amps or so about 35 amps I I in 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 the air you know if, if you measure the amps uh, once you're flying it would be about 35 max which uh, which is not too bad uh, it's it, it, it's pretty pretty manageable I think because that that would be just a burst burst uh, amps uh, uh, once you uh, once you're going on full throttle uh, you may end up seeing up to up to 35 amps per motor or so so that that if if at all you know it could be even less uh, you know the uh, I guess people uh, when they have a uh, amp uh, a current meter on their on their quad uh, I've seen some people pulling maybe 100 120 amps uh, just burst uh, for a little bit so that, that's about right uh, uh, you know that's what you're gonna be getting uh, so not too bad it's still manageable I think uh, even with uh, with a 25 or a 30 amp uh, ESC it should be should be okay uh, so as we can see this motor is actually uh, pretty efficient it's not uh, pulling some crazy amounts of amps uh, it's pretty pretty good and doing pretty well on 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 thrust uh, again uh, right here the amps are appear to be really high but in reality uh, once you're in the air this is going to be a lot lower oh uh, yeah one more prop uh, on 5s uh, this 5043 by 3 uh, 1874 at uh, 51 amps uh, uh, also pretty pretty good so that that would be about about 35 amps too uh, max so uh, you probably want to have a, a 25 to a 30 amp uh, ESC for that if you want to do 5s uh, just to be on the safe side yeah so okay uh, that's uh, the trust uh, results um, and I uh, hope you find that useful and uh, until the next video and I'll leave you with some fly footage uh, not the top ace pilot so I'm not doing justice to what the motor can do but uh, just I just wanted to include it uh, alright thanks for watching